Still, the Guardian says nothing, and his own silence makes him sick with himself. His ghost has never doubted him, never doubted anyone really. He is a well of relentless optimism, and as infuriating as that is, it's also heartbreaking, and comforting, and a relief. The Guardian is not going to be the one to disappoint him. There's been too much disappointment in this life already. Welcome back Guardians, with the release of Season of Dawn, there was one lore tab that reveals what Prince Aldrin has been doing since his revival as a Guardian, so stick around to hear more. Also, I have selected the winner of the Destiny Boots giveaway, which was provided by Destiny ANZ. Congratulations to Robert EO for winning the giveaway. We've already spoken and the boots are being delivered. Also, thank you for the massive support on my second YouTube channel. The link is also below for that. As usual, the artwork at the beginning of this video was by Gamma Trap. Links to his social media is below. And finally, the most important thing, many of you would have heard about the Australian bushfires currently happening. They've been active since October last year and have consumed over 10 million hectares of land. People have lost their lives, people have lost their homes. The wildlife has been completely devastated. The estimates are at like half a billion animals have been killed. People were literally trying to outrun the Australian bushfires over Christmas and New Year's. There was one town that had to evacuate to a beach the sky was apocalyptic it was red the smoke even reached new zealand that's the scale of these fires australia could really use your help at the moment the destiny fans community is doing a bushfire appeal with donations going towards the australian red cross if you can donate i'll leave a donation link in the description below thank you guardians for any help that you give this is Marlin Games, and I hope you enjoy this latest Destiny 2 lore episode. Okay, so the new information about Prince Aldrin comes from the lore tab Amnestia S2. I believe Amnestia is a noun for amnesty, and I'm not sure if that is an English or a Polish term because it was coming up on a translation website, but it would make sense for the law tab to mean amnesty because amnesty is an official pardon for people who have been committed of a crime. The whole intention of this law tab is do we forgive, do we give a pardon to Aldrin for his past crimes? So the law tab doesn't specifically name Aldrin, however it has a number of clues in the tab that reveal his identity. Have a listen and see if you can spot them. All he has to his name is some beat up gear, a ring, and a silk sheet. Those are the things he woke up with. He wears the ring on a chain and keeps the sheet as a comforting reminder of something he can't remember. Sometimes he wears it draped over his shoulder. The fabric is so fine that it makes him think about the place he must have come from before this life. How much nicer it is than where he is now. Did you know, his ghost says, bright but gentle, the pebble glint of his shell reflects the half light outside the crate. That in the last city, they are celebrating. They call it the dawning. It is a celebration of friendship and hope and warmth. Okay, so I'm sure you spotted the clues that confirms this is Aldrin. The first is the silk sheet. If you remember back to when we saw Prince Aldrin's revival, he was draped in a white silk sheet. The second clue is the color of his ghost shell, the purple glint. We suspect Aldrin's ghost to be pulled pork a very likeable, chirpy ghost who had much trouble finding a guardian. Pulled Pork's shell was a reef purple ghost shell. Have a listen to the lore entry Pulled Pork. It reads, Pulled Pork finishes up a scan of a floating piece of concrete and rebar, then turns toward them. I'm looking for my guardian, he chirps. That's nice, you're going to find him in that rock. You never know, Miss Nketchi32, maybe my guardian is very small. Maybe, Nketchi agrees, but you might want to consider scanning the dead, bud. That shell's pretty snappy, is it new? It's reef purple, the flower-like silhouette and silver detailing. Yes, it is. It was a gift, and thank you for your suggestion. I have considered it. I do often scan the dead. I also scan other things. I like to be thorough. Pulled pork bobs in place politely, almost bowing. Please excuse me one moment. He turns to scan a piece of warped plasteel. I loved pulled pork. 
Anyway, the third clue that this is Prince Aldrin is that in the law entry, Aldrin says the silk fabric is so fine that it makes him think about the place he must have come from before this life and how it must be much nicer than where he is now. This is likely a reference to his previous life as a prince, as royalty. Now, you may be wondering what the ring on the chain means, and I'm going to get to that last, so hold tight. But the final clue that reveals this entry is about Prince Aldrin are the Guardian's reactions to the prince. Have a listen. For the last three weeks, the Guardian has been camping in a rusted out shipping container far off the main pathways that are always buzzing with sparrows. He stays out of the way of other Guardians, and if he can't do that, he keeps his helmet on. Always. He spends his days alone. Other Guardians are an unpredictable source of pain and confusion. They see him the same way. Some react to him with outright hostility. Others are overcome by some personal and unexplained grief. He doesn't know why. That was the most painful lesson of being reborn. It's better to be alone. So he's always alone now, except for his ghost. One night he sits with his head against his knees and listens to the distant snaps of gunfire. He hasn't seen anyone in about a week, but he can hear them. Somehow that makes the loneliness worse, more potent. As you can see, Aldrin is pretty depressed. He doesn't understand why everyone hates him, so he hides away in a rusted out shipping container and keeps his helmet on to mask his identity. Pulled pork being the bundle of optimism always tries to cheer him up. Have a listen. Did you know, his ghost says, bright but gentle, the pebble glint of his shell reflects the half-light outside the crate. That in their last city, they are celebrating. They call it the dawning. It's a celebration of friendship and hope and warmth. The guardian keeps his eyes closed and forces down his bitterness. The silence lingers between them, heavy and filled with unsaid things, till his ghost gently bumps his shoulder. To feel good, they say to each other, happy dawning. Still, the Guardian says nothing, and his own silence makes him sick with himself. His ghost has never doubted him, never doubted anyone, really. He is a well of relentless optimism, and as infuriating as that is, it's also heartbreaking, and comforting, and a relief. The Guardian is not going to be the one to disappoint him. There's been too much disappointment in this life already. Happy dawning, he says. So, the last thing I wanted to mention was the ring on the chain that Aldrin has. I have a feeling that this is from Marasov. I tried to find a lore entry that may prove this, but I could not find anything. However, we know Aldrin woke up with the silk sheet, representing his royalty, rebirth, and cleansing, and I'm thinking the ring that he woke with also hints at his royalty, but it may in fact have a more sinister intention. In the lore book The Forsaken Prince, there is a lore entry called The Length of a Chain Part 2. This entry describes a very different Prince Aldrin, a very joyful, happy, funny Aldrin, a completely different Aldrin than what we knew. The entry describes how even then, Aldrin is constantly wanting to impress his sister, Marasov. This want of approval is like a chain. He is chained to Marasov. No matter how hard he tries to escape her, he is always drawn to her. He will always follow her orders. Have a listen to The Length of a Chain Part 2. It reads, He wants his sister's approval. He knows and accepts that. But he wants her approval for something she did not anticipate, did not plan or foresee, and did not account for. He wants her to thank him with surprise. If you hurl yourself away from someone to test the length of your chain, you cannot know the chain's length until it draws you short. Does that make sense? Aldrin thinks so. Aldrin is afraid so. Either he is truly free of his sister, free to choose to stand at her side, to choose of his own free will, or the chain is longer than he has managed to run. Now, let's speculate for a moment that the ring on the chain around Aldrin's neck is from Marasov, a burial gift, a ring symbolizing the Sov family and commitment to the Sov family, just like a wedding ring. This would be incredibly symbolic of Prince Aldrin still being chained to his family, to his sister. He still carries the burden around his neck. 
This of course is complete speculation, but I think this ring around his neck is going to have a greater meaning in the future of Destiny. And I also find it really interesting that the author used the word chain rather than necklace, which is why I thought of the lore entry, A Length of a Chain, Part 2. And with that, that concludes this latest Destiny 2 lore episode. If you'd like to support the channel and cannot think of a comment, you can leave the words pull the pork to represent the cheerful ghost that is trying to help Guardian Prince Aldrin. As usual, it has been a pleasure. This is Marlin Games. Peace.